All right, everybody. I'm hoping this is the final on the Blue Eddy saga of videos that I'm going to post. Once I get that Blue Eddy charging up, now I'll know are those four batteries going to be a great backup to that Blue Eddy and basically double the power. So what is uh, 460 watt hours times four? I think it's 18 something, 1800 something. And this has got 1700 watt hours. So we're pretty much doubling the power if I can get this charging correctly. And I think I've got it going now. So what we're going to do is I've got the four batteries. They're coming into a junction here. So they're all running in parallel. They're coming through the Jehu, a dongle. These white wires here go to the batteries to keep the BMSs alive. And then I've got it going through just one of my little meters so I can keep an eye on the voltage of these batteries. And we're going to put it through the Blue Eddy. And we're going to see what happens. We're also going to time it to make sure that it does not go down in charging capability like it was doing before. So let's get the show started. Let's get the Blue Eddy kicked up. Thank you for those that made the comment about just touching right here. <laughs> I knew that at one point. I guess I completely forgot it. It's a whole lot easier than going through all those steps. All right. And I think we are ready to go ahead and connect it and see how we do. So here we are connecting now. And let's go ahead and start the timer. And here's going to be the key. When we get to 30 minutes... Is this thing going to continue putting out good wattage or is it going to slowly start to taper down? So you see that it's recognized the voltages of the batteries and it's starting to produce. We've got, yay, good news, 486 watts at 11.9 amps. That's absolutely terrific. So what my hope and my goal is is that we can run these batteries from 40 volts down to 30. Now some people say 28, some people say 25 volts. I'm going to run mine down to 30 for purposes of this test. And we'll know in, uh, in one hour whether it's working or not. So I will be back and check in with you. And uh, hopefully this wattage will not drop down. So stay tuned. Oh, one last thing. Let's see what we go to here. All right, we're at 27%. So we'll see, uh, see how we do. All righty then, see you soon. Okay, we're coming up on 15 minutes. So just a quick update. My battery is holding well at 39.1 volts. My Blue Eddy has raised from 28%, I'm sorry, 27% to 32%. But my wattage is starting to drop. You see here I'm at 301, 305 watts. Okay, so these are the numbers. 7.2. 4 amps, 300 watts. Now just as a refresher, 15 minutes ago this was 11.9 amps and uh, 470, 480 watts. So 15 minutes in, is it dropping down again? I thought we had this issue fixed. Okay, we'll see you in another 15 minutes. Okay, we are coming up on the 30 minute mark. There's 30 minutes. Batteries are still doing phenomenal, 39. So we haven't used hardly anything out of the batteries. That's doing great. Let's take a look at the Blue Eddy. The Blue Eddy has gone from 27% up to 36%. But...
Look at that. 183 watts. 4.6 amps. And just as a reminder, when we started out 30 minutes ago, we were pulling 470, 480 watts into the Blue Eddy. And now we're starting to wane down. So it's been a half hour. It's certainly not as bad as what it was. It seemed me like when we started this whole project back six videos or so ago, maybe four videos ago, is mine would wane down in a half hour, 45 minutes, it would be to zero, or eight watts in 45 minutes. So we are going to definitely let this thing continue to run and see how it goes. But you can see right now we started out at 470, 480 watts 30 minutes ago. And uh, we are drawing 170 now, 166. So it's definitely coming down. And I don't know the reason for that. So we'll check back in in another 15 minutes. All right, 45 minute mark. Batteries are hanging tough. 38.9, they can go a long time. We're going to try to, well, we were going to try to run them down to 30, but we'll see how this is going. Blue A's th sitting at 38%. When we started 45 minutes ago, it was at 27%. And uh, you might see a little indication right up here as to how we're doing watt-wise. Not good. 2.4 amps, 93 watts. So what does this mean? Does this mean that at the one hour mark we're going to go down to zero? I don't know. But we are accepting 93 watts into this Blue Eddy now. We started out at 480, 11.9 amps, and... Uh, Here's where we are now. So, we'll uh, see you in 15 minutes. All right, we are at the one hour mark. Our battery's holding out great because it's not discharging very much. We are definitely moving down. Slowly. We were at 38% at 45 minutes. Now we're at an hour, we are at 39%. So we've only increased 1% in the battery. And uh, you can see, bam, there you go. 1.3 amps, oh, and 52 watts, we'll call it. So, it's going to continue slow, slow, slow. We're at the one hour mark. Let's see what happens. But, at this point, is this a viable option for your Blue Eddy? <clears throat> I guess I suppose it is. If you want to come back and unplug it and plug it back in every hour. And let it go a little bit more. But as a plug-and-play system that works terrific and uh, gonna back up my Blue Eddy I'd be better off to use those four batteries with an inverter myself I've got two inverters and just run them straight into an inverter I'd certainly get more out of them than I'm gonna get this way so we will see you again in a little while. Okay, coming in at the one hour and 30 minutes. I skipped the one hour and 15 minutes because we already kind of know 
which direction these batteries are going in. They still got plenty of juice in them. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? So it's been one hour and 30 minutes. We started out at 480 watts, and now we are at 16 watts. 0.4 amps, still showing 40 volts. So I guess we kind of know where this is going. Let's see what percentage we're up to. Can't be much because we're very, barely putting anything in it. We made it to 40%. And we started at 27%. Well, based on this, we kind of know where we're going. Look at that, 4 watts, 0 watts, hour and a half, 0 watts. Okay, so we've got four batteries hooked up in parallel. We've got them going through the Jehu BMS activator. We've still got plenty of juice in the battery, and the Blue Eddy is on its way down to, what are we at, 4 watts now. 8 watts. So what I'm going to do is if there's a conflict in the BMS in any of these batteries, let's start unplugging the batteries and see what happens. So I'm going to unplug one battery which will get us down to three batteries and we'll see if it makes any difference. Okay, I just unplugged one of the batteries. We'll wait and see if this thing picks up at all. Hmm. All right. Let's unplug another one. Now we're running two bar two batteries parallel. All right, now we are gonna run one battery. Okay, now I've just got one battery hooked up. <clears throat> okay, now before I unplug that last battery, Let's go ahead and plug a second battery in. So now I have two batteries plugged in. See if it will recognize any difference in the voltage. Plug the third battery in. Plug the fourth battery in. Now we're back to where we started, four batteries in parallel. Hundred or one one hour thirty five minutes, and we're down to zero watts input. Our batteries still have lots of life in them. Now, the only thing uh, left to do is unplug the Blue Eddy, wait a few seconds, and then plug it back in.
Look at that. 460 watts. So, I guess in conclusion and to close this whole thing out, I am not going to use these four batteries as a backup to my Blue Eddy. They don't work. And if they do work, you've got to come in every half hour, unplug the damn thing, just to keep it going. So, unless you see something different that I've done here, something that's uh, a miss, something else I could try. Um, Jay who commented that sometimes the Blue Eddies have to be reset in order to work properly. I, I don't know what that means. I couldn't find anything about resetting a Blue Eddy. And uh, so I'm going to leave this at a loss. I'm going to uh, not use these batteries with the Blue Eddy. We're going to have to do something else with these batteries. So stay tuned. I'll have more projects on board. I've got four more of these batteries in that case over there. We're going to build us a battery pack out of there. I've got an inverter. I've got a 12-volt step-down unit. In that case over there, I've got some uh, Life PO4 batteries, uh, the A A123 batteries. We're going to make a battery out of that as well. So I'm going to call this a wrap. Thank you all for watching. What a dismal failure. Pretty upset about it. I don't know what's going on with my Blue Eddy. But I guess I could contact the company. So I don't know. I don't know. So enjoy your day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your comments and engaging in my uh, videos. I sure do appreciate each and every one of you. So enjoy your day and take care. I can hear it now. Some of you are saying, wait, wait, before you stop. You've got those four batteries all hooked up. And you got the Blue Eddy all going. You're timing it. Why not throw that output load into the equation? Why not plug in that 3 amp charger and try to charge up that old battery box from last year? Why not see if that is going to make a difference? Maybe by having that discharge at the same time you've got that input, maybe it'll kick in again like it did before. So, let's find out. Turn my AC on, get my plug going here. You can see it's quickly ramping up, 275 watts. I'm still at 250 over here on this side. Now, if that was going to work, that 250 on the left side would be jumping up to 480 would be my guess <clears throat> because remember I unplugged it and it's already come down that much so this is showing me that what worked last time on one battery is not working again on four batteries so just a little bonus reel there Thanks. Enjoy your day.